Today, Governor Malloy came to Amity Regional High School to talk about energy efficiency and Amity's recent change to natural gas. On November 19, 2012, Connecticut Governor Daniel Malloy visited Amity to talk about how the high school has gone green and about his hopes for the future of expanding the use of natural gas further throughout the area and state. He spoke about a variety of ways to expand and about how this expansion connects to creating jobs in Connecticut. First of all, the, the implementation of the program, the build out of the system, the conversion of, of houses, buildings will add about 7,000 jobs to the economy. But the long term impact is the lower cost of operations in Connecticut, therefore making Connecticut a more desirable place to be, to manufacture, to have offices. Um, uh, and, and so lowering cost is part of what we have to do. And, and this, is, uh, this is a real quick way to do that. Governor Malloy then went on to speak about how Amity set a prime example in the trend to go green and about ways that we can continue setting an example for others in the state. There's a reason we're here, and that is that Amity uh, or the community is demonstrating just that. Uh, the extension of this system um, uh, at a cost of about $1.1 million uh, is leading to this high school saving one, uh, $120,000 per year. That system's going to be in place for, you know, forever. Many local personalities were in attendance to hear the governor speak. One of the many political figures that came was Representative Paul Davis. Davis spoke a lot about how the new extension of gas lines would help the community. Uh, we're funding our education programs at a particular level. Uh, we're meeting greater and greater challenges because our revenues aren't reaching the levels we expected. So if we find ways to conserve in some areas, we can maintain the funding for the areas that we really feel are important, and that's, of course, the education of our students. Additionally, Senator Gail Slosberg was present. She worked with the governor in the past and is very supportive of the new plan to extend the gas lines. She believes it to be very exciting for the community. Um, obviously this is a nice opportunity for us to diversify, diversify our energy system here at Amity and in the community in Woodbridge. Among the students in attendance were Paul Peterson's AP Environmental Science class. Students were invited to come and listen to the governor speak to hear about the plans for the extension. Thomas Falsigno, student council president, thought that having Governor Malloy come and speak was a great opportunity. I thought he did well. He addressed the questions. Energy, environment is a big issue that needs to be focused on. Um, he's definitely obviously willing to focus on that from the comments he made today. The governor coming was a great way to kick off Amity Spirit Week. He even earned an Amity baseball cap and was happy to be a part of that exciting week. So I, I asked whether it was against the rules to wear a hat in the building and it's not so I'll, I'll put my uh, my hat on, and I am particularly happy that I didn't come on pajama day. I, uh, I, I want to say that.